I was just, um, before I made the supper, thinking about melanoma. <clears throat> and the reason is that Ole Johansson, who is a colleague of mine at the Karolinska Institute, and a colleague of his, whose name I forget now, um, have been investigating the cause of the increase in melanoma, which is a skin cancer, and it's usually fatal. It's, it's the one that everybody knows about. It's a little black mole that becomes irregular in shape, and then by the time it's uh, it's it's picked up, usually you know you've had it because it will have metastasized. And the reason is that um, it's actually uh, a tumor which arises from the basal cells, from the cells beneath the surface of the skin. Anyway. I've been thinking about this for a long time, long before I read this paper by Ali Johansson, um, because there's been a rapid increase in, in melanoma in, in uh, the world, which began round about 1955, and it's just going up and up and up and up. And in, in, in the paper, he, he, uh, both of them, they investigate the cause of melanoma, which they have decided, as a result of all their analysis, is a depression of the immune system because there are two ways you can get an increase in cancer one one way is you get an increase in the genetic damage so in other words you get an increase in the um, level of some uh, substance in the world which which damages DNA like radiation like uh, like electromagnetic radiation like certain chemicals this sort of thing but the other way is to is to actually decrease the immune system surveillance. So so when the cancer is very early, when the cells first start to replicate wrong, wrongly, they can be picked up by the immune system. And this actually is is well known. So there are two ways you can get an increase in cancer. One is an increase in a mutagen, in a carcinogen in the environment, and the other is a, an a decrease in the immune system. So anyway, as a result of their paper, they've decided that it's a decrease in the immune system. Which is rather curious, actually, given that that the the increase began in 1955, and has been continuing ever since. And what do we know began in 1955 and has been continuing ever since, which is also a mutagen? I'll tell you. Well, you know, of course, it's ionizing radiation, which began to be pumped into the biosphere in like 1955 on 52, the first weapons tests in 1945, Hiroshima, and then it really went mad after 1959. And uh, one of my theses, of course, is the general cancer epidemic, which went 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 uh, up and up and up in the in the 70s and 80s, especially in countries where there was high levels of, of nuclear fallout, was caused by the atmospheric weapons testing and the exposure to more carcinogens. That's cesium-137, uranium-235, plutonium-239, strontium-90, all this stuff. Okay. Anyway, all this is background. All this is background. Because what what occurred to me was was an interesting while you were eating while your I was supper, eating my supper, yeah, which is which cooling is, down, which is cooling down. But this is my second course because it was so delicious that I've actually taken ah, an, an, right. another load of, of this stuff to eat. So I've actually eaten enough, and I don't want to get fat. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll show them I what you have it. prepared here. Really? Okay. I put the light on. Okay. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Mmm, all this juicy Latvian meat. Okay, well, let's just get back to this question of melanoma. And this was my idea. This is why this is why we're filming this because otherwise I'll forget about it. But my idea is this: melanoma. The interesting thing about melanoma is, although it's associated with sunshine, that is to say, people who live in areas where there's more sunshine get more melanoma. Actually, the melanomas do not appear on the parts of the body that the sun shines on. Now, with other skin cancers, this is the case. So, in other words, with basal cell cancers and squamous cell cancers of the skin, you, you get these on areas of the body, like the face and the head and the neck and the hands. Well, not so much the palms of the hands, but, of course, that's a different matter. Where the sun shines. And, in fact, there's a, a strong relationship between sunshine and these other cancers, but and, and also with melanoma. But the point about melanoma is the tumours from melanoma appear on parts of the body where the sun doesn't shine. So in other words, you get them on the trunk, you get them on, on, the, on the upper thighs. These, these melanomas appear in places which are normally covered. So the question is, why is this? And also, the, and of course, hand in hand with this, is the question of why has there been the increase? Well, here's my suggestion. Here's my thought. 
that normally if if a cancer if a melanoma is produced uh, by scales, cells which are close to the surface of the skin that is cells which are damaged at close to the surface of the skin basal cells which are quite close to the surface of the skin these could be damaged by ultraviolet light but then they get picked up by the immune system because the immune system has obviously figured out that this is what happens and so there's quite a high level of immune surveillance for cancers which are close to the surface of the skin but for basal cells which are further down which are far below the surface normally these are not affected by radiation from ultraviolet light from the sun you see they don't get affected by sunlight because because ultraviolet light has, has a very high absorption by the skin and it's absorbed very rapidly so it doesn't get down to the basics to the to the deep basal cells it doesn't get below, well below the surface of the skin it doesn't but there is something that does of course and that's ionizing radiation so if you get a hot particle on your skin and of course after chernobyl after the weapons fall out most of the fallout most of the material that came down with the rain that drifted down through the through the air and you find in high concentrations in nuclear sites where incidentally you also get high levels of melanoma right near nuclear sites these materials these these particles on the skin which you wouldn't even see because they're really microscopic have gamma radiation which can penetrate much more deeply and goes right down to the lower basal cells you see and causes cancer and this is my idea is that they cause cancer in the deep layers of the of the of the uh, of the skin the deep layers of the skin and these cells then become cancerous at a point where they can metastasize or, or start to 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 or or, or or daughter cells of these cells can can move in the bloodstream and they move in the bloodstream and they get, they go to different parts of the body of course and if they go to parts of the body which are are parts of the body that have normally associated with with sunlight then the immune system there picks them up rapidly and destroys them or the cells do by cell cell communication or something happens which destroys them because there there is a there is a situation where those kinds of cancers are are anticipated in a sense but these other ones that travel in the bloodstream and then go to sites where there's no surveillance like this they then uh, form these ma these malignant melanomas and so that would explain two things it would explain firstly why there was an increase after 1955 because that's exactly the same increase that you see in lung cancer and it's the same increase that you see in breast cancer in the same cohorts because we looked at the cohort effect in breast cancer and and so that would explain also why you get very high levels in these northern latitudes because that's where there was an enormous amount of weapons fallout from the various northern hemisphere bomb tests and in fact that was where, where they picked up first of all the effects of the weapons tests on heart disease so you've got high levels of of heart disease in Finland and, and Sweden and Norway as a result of the weapons fallout and I think that the melanomas are exactly the same story the melanomas are a consequence of the high levels of weapons fallout that came down in Norway Sweden and Finland and in fact in Finland you have the highest rate of melanoma which is probably because you have the highest background radiation there as well from radon and uranium and all the rest of it so those are the two things explained on the one hand the melanoma increase on the other hand the fact that these things appear in parts of the body that are not normally exposed to sunlight so in, in, in so say that in two sentences the point the, the, the point is that the increase in malignant melanoma which began in 1955 and, and rapidly and is still increasing is a direct consequence of the exposure to ionizing radiation and of course, non-ionizing radiation too, because that, as we know, anyway, that, perturbs that. That's too that. Long. Yeah. And so, the so, and the second, th the second point is that the melanomas appear on parts of the body which are not normally exposed to sunlight. And the reason for that is that the parts of the body that are exposed to sunlight have a kind of immune system control system which stops any cancers from forming on those on the on those sites. But that that system is missing in sites that don't normally get exposed to radiation. But of course, in 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 evolution, these sites would never have been exposed to the kind of penetrating radiation from particles, the gamma radiation penetration from particles, which goes much more deeply into the skin than ultraviolet light from sunlight. Uh -huh. And which parts are those? Those are the tri all the parts that are normally covered up. So the upper thighs and the legs and the trunk and the body and and, and the shoulders and the upper arms.
that's where you get those tumours. Mal malignant melanoma does not generally appear in areas where the sunlight shines, but it is associated with exposure to sunlight. You see, this is kind of like a, a, a strange yeah. anomaly. Okay, thanks so much. And I hope your meal isn't too cold. That's what happens when people ha have their... Who was the guy who got apple in on his head and said ever got... Isaac Newton. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you had your potato in your mouth throat, <laughs> jumping out with ideas. Mm.